In this video, I'm going to go over a C program to find the sum of the first n natural numbers. So the natural numbers look like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and on and on. Those we call the natural numbers. And if we wanted to find the sum of the first two natural numbers, that would be 1 and 2 added together. So like 1 plus 2 would give us 3. If we wanted to find the sum of the first three natural numbers, it would be 1 plus 2 plus 3, and that would give us 6, right? 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives us 6. If I wanted to find the sum of the first four natural numbers, that would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and that would give us 10. And it would go on and on like this. Now, you notice when we're finding the sum of the first n natural numbers, that the solution contains the sum of the first n minus 1 natural numbers. So in other words, like if we want to find the sum of the first four natural numbers, that's like saying four plus the sum of the first three natural numbers, right? And what we can do is we can use this sort of previous work to actually help us calculate the next number. We can use the sum of the, you know, n minus one numbers to help us find the sum of the n numbers. Because we just sort of take that previous work and then add that next number to it. So solutions that allow us to solve problems like this, we can also call recursive solutions, where we can use sort of part of the solution to find the next part of the solution. And recursion can be a good way to, to model problems like this. So we're gonna actually write a function that's gonna recursively solve, solve this problem. And we call it recursion because the function is gonna call itself. So we'll make the function here, we'll say int sum int n, so the function is going to be called sum, it's going to return an integer, and it's going to accept an integer n as an argument. And it's going to be a simple function in terms of the lines of code, but the tricky part is going to be how we use recursion. So here I say, if n is greater than 0, return n plus the sum of n minus 1, else return 0. So simple in terms of lines of code, but a bit tricky what's exactly going on here in terms of how it's going to work. But the way that it works is kind of like how I just described here. We're saying that we want to find the sum of the first n natural numbers. So if I were to give, say, 4 here as an argument, I want to find the sum of the first 4 natural numbers, what we're going to do is we're going to say return n, so return 4, plus the sum of the first 3 natural numbers. So take 4 minus 1 and find the sum of the first 3 natural numbers. And what we're doing is basically what I described. We're basically taking that next part of the solution and we're going to add it to a solution of a smaller problem, which is the sum of the n minus 1, first n minus 1 natural numbers, right? And so if we had 4 here, if we said like sum of 4, then what would be returned is 4 plus the sum of n minus 1. And we know that the sum of n minus 1 is going to be 3 plus 2 plus 1 in this case. So this is going to be sum of 3, right? Because sum of n minus 1 when n is 4 is going to be 3. And so here we're going to have sum of 3. Now when this function is called again, it's again going to use recursion. It's again going to call itself to help solve this problem. And this is going to be 3 plus the sum of 2 because we're going to return 3 plus the sum of 2. And again, to figure out the answer to this problem, we're saying, okay, take 3 and then add to it the solution to this smaller problem of the sum of the first two natural numbers, right? And so we're going to say plus sum 2. This is going to get turned into 2 plus sum 1. And then this is going to get turned into 1 plus sum 0. Now, at this point, this is when we want to stop because we're all out of natural numbers, right? We've got zero here at this point. So that's why we're saying, so long as n is greater than zero, keep going with this recursive step. But when we're done, when we get to n being equal to zero, at that point, we want to return zero to end things. And we call this the base case. This is the case that's going to kind of end the recursion. It's going to end this process of having the function repeatedly call itself. So let's actually give this a test now. We'll actually print out what happens when we call the function with a value of four. So we'll say sum of four. We expect to get back 10 here. So we'll give this a compilation here and then we'll run it and we get back 10. And if I give it the argument five here, we expect back 15. 
So run that, and it looks like it's working. And so this is how we can recursively solve the problem of the sum of the first n natural numbers. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.